Hi there, it's Chris from Northern Coach Doctor. What you're witnessing here is my very first attempt as a bachelor at cooking fish. And so I've never done this before and I thought I'd let you in on it as it happens. And they told me that I should put some olive oil into the pan and uh, then add some butter for some flavor and then dust it in a, a mixture of spices. So I've done that, it looks not too bad. Um, I'll show you what I've got here. So there's my egg wash that I soaked fish in and uh, yeah, there's my bowl of spice. And then the fish went from the egg wash to the, the spices and then it went on to a plate This only goes five minutes before you gotta flip it over. Okay, that would make sense. That's really interesting. I didn't think that would be long enough. Like I said, I wanted you to see how I'm progressing here. Look at that, the fish came right apart. Is that well Fish. And now this came from a, a local man here in Newfoundland. And he actually, with his catch, was nice enough to bring some to me. And uh, with the help of, of my good friend out here. And um, so I was brought this fish and uh, it's cod I guess and I believe it is and we're just gonna let that fry up for no more than five minutes I am salivating already put my olive oil away oh look I need a spatula hmm. Well, 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 we just happen to have one. I what fresh cod tastes like. Turn up the heat a little bit on this puppy. Mash for fish. Love it. Love fish. This is a Newfoundland's a good place to like fish. That's for sure. Good guys. Hmm. I know you're probably wondering what I'm doing. I was looking for a. Oh, there it is. I was searching for that. 
or if you can take away some of the fish smell, but we'll see. Toss a little bit of onion in this. Get a fish medley. Fish medley. <coughs> la, 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 Okay, well. Hmm. Looking good. onions, spreading them around to fry. Hello everyone, I see you there watching me. First time making fish fresh from the ocean. Brought in yesterday as a matter of fact. I like the smell of the fish. Now again, this recipe was, whether he likes it or not, courtesy of my good friend <coughs> here in Newfoundland, and he knows who he is. That's right, smile away, Chester. Smile away at your prodigy. You made me. Mmm, that would look good. Now Chester was worried about me burning the place down, so gotta make sure those burners are off. Very important. Very important. Gonna straighten you out here. There you go. My first attempt at cooking fish at all in all of my 55 years. Never cooked fish. First time, was given quite an education by two gentlemen that know how to do this to perfection, and I've kind of taken a little bit from each one of them and applied it into this. Chris's fish medley. That's what it is, right there. Now, don't criticize it yet, you two gurus. Let me taste it first. Salt and pepper. Ah. Straighten me out here. There we go. Okay, so pepper. Let's see what happens. I like doing it this way. Too much on, and I well, we went and did it a little bit anyway. But whatever. What ev? Salt. Oop. 
lid came off. Whoa, that wasn't good. Good thing it didn't pour a bunch on there. My cat-like reflexes. See if they even come in there. Well, I guess we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Come on, fixing this whole pot isn't easy. There we go. We gotta break it up a bit, I guess. I didn't think that salt became a solid like that. So it kind of balances off, for me anyway, the mounds of pepper that I mistakenly applied. I almost had mounds of one mound of salt. But again, my cat like reflexes got me out of that. And then you just mix it up. There's lots to have the butter to soak in. And I haven't actually even tried the spice that's on here before, so it should be interesting. Make sure that you got your drink. Oh, I know, anticlimactic. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, is that ever nice. You hardly even have to chew that fish. Now I'm gonna say here that I think I've outdone myself. Oh, I can't believe this. It's amazing. Mm. That spice has a little bit of a kick to it. It's good though. Mm. I'm gonna try some of that little bit of onion. I mean, look at that fish. It's about to fall off the fork. Mmm. So when you finally pour the finished product on the plate, understand that you have butter and olive oil that you put in your pan. That's coming as you're pouring it off into the plate here with the fish and the, the onions. Now, I didn't give my onions long enough, and I know that. Next time I'll, I'll put the onions in and let them sit alone before adding the fish to it. But, man, this is good. And the way it just flakes here and is all broken up into one big meal, I'm told it's very healthy to eat this. Mm. Listen, we'll see you soon. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget, a new episode of Divorcing Mrs. Claus has just been brought up and is now published on Spotify. So head over to Spotify and look up Divorcing Mrs. Claus and you'll see the podcast there. Start at the beginning, it's about 25 episodes. See you soon.